Hey everybody, it's me Bryson Booker and it's time for yet another pro audio video starring my Soundcraft Signature 16. And this time I'm going to teach you um, basically how to use your USB uh, for recording. Playback kind of works the same way, but um, recording from the USB to a computer, uh, there's a special method that you have to do to uh, get it to work. It's not hard, but you just have to make sure that you do it so it works correctly. And so obviously with the Soundcraft Signature Series, basically all of the models uh, you can record from USB, but only the Signature 22 Multitrack and the Signature 12 Multitrack allows you to do multi-tracked recordings from this USB drive. Um, and there are videos showcasing how to do, uh, how to record via multi-track from those uh, Soundcraft signatures, 22s and 12s. But for the Signature 10 and the Signature 16, uh, there's just a regular recording feature from the USB. So you can record two ways. You can either record your left and right mix, which is basically your master mix, uh, the main left and right mix, or you can use auxiliary, I believe, one and two. So auxiliaries one and two can also be used to record. For this demo, I'm just going to do the main left and right mix. So once you plug in your USB to the mixer as well as your computer, um, I'm using uh, the software that actually came with this mixer, Ableton Live Lite. And so uh, when you pick up this mixer, it automatically comes with Ableton Live Lite. Um, and so what you have to do, it's a card, and you go to Ableton's website and put in that uh, special code that you can use to download this software. Now, it is kind of difficult to get your head around because there's so much that you could do on it. But for simple recording, uh, it's pretty, pretty easy. So really, the first thing that you have to do before you do any recording is you have to go to soundcraft.com and download uh, the signature audio driver. If you do not download the Soundcraft signature audio driver, um, recording will not work at all. Um, because... Um, uh, Soundcraft really didn't say this, um, but you do need a special driver to record from the mixer to your PC. If you didn't already know that, you do. So if you think you can just plug in the USB and automatically start recording, sadly, no, you can't. You have to go to soundcraft.com and download their audio driver, and um, then you can start recording. So I'm just going to go to soundcraft.com and show you where the driver is so you'll know. So we're going to soundcraft.com so we're on their website. So you're going to go to products and select the signature series and I'm just going to select my mixer the signature 16 and then I'm going to go to over here there's a tab called downloads so I'm going to go to downloads and then you'll see the Soundcraft Signature Multi-Channel USB Audio Driver version 3.20. You're going to download that driver um, in order for you to record from the mixer. And so it's a free download. You don't have to pay for anything. So I'm just kind of going to do it to show you. It'll bring up a wizard. Right now it's basically saving to my computer and it's a zip file. And so once you open that, it'll basically bring up a wizard that allows you to download um, the software. And so it's in my downloads. Uh, and I think if I click on it, I can open it. And Sorry about that. All right, so it says multi-channel USB audio driver application. Click that. take a second and then it says do you want this program to make changes on your computer just say yes 
and then it'll take a minute and then it'll bring up that little dialog box that will walk you through the steps to download the driver I already have the driver downloaded and there it is, there it is. Um, here's the wizard for multi-channel USB audio V3 setup wizard so it'll take you through this wizard and just follow the prompts that you see on the screen and once it's done you should now get an icon so let's share are you sure you want to go quit yes because I already downloaded so we're gonna go to my menu and it says recently added up here and you should see the Soundcraft USB audio control panel and then if I open it that's what the control panel looks like and that's what you should have on your computer before you start recording from the signature series or at least the signature 10 and 16 and I think the other ones work the same way basically you just have the multi-track feature so now when you go to a software like Ableton Live Lite or your chosen DAW like you know Audacity or some other DAW now basically you can get audio from your external in and then you go to configure and then you basically select um, the Soundcraft signature series line and then it says audio output device speaker headphones so that's your audio output device keep in mind when you're recording from this mixer it's already an interface so you don't need um, your extra audio interfaces this is the interface that you're recording from so um, you'll see Soundcraft Signature Series uh, line in and that's basically it if you're using another software basically you're gonna go to the input section and you should see Soundcraft Signature Series and then you'll click on that as your input device if you do not see the Soundcraft Signature uh, name that means you probably didn't download the driver and thus you can't use the recording capabilities of the signature and so I armed those tracks already and so when I use my SM58 here check, check one, one two, two you should, you should hear, hear uh, my, my voice, voice coming, coming through, through uh, my computer, my computer speakers, speakers because, because that's, that's the, the output. output that's the output of the um, uh, the, re the levels uh, where they're being sent to. So those of you who are using this to record your mixes for Ableton Live Lite um, you have to okay so the monitor is let's see if I have my monitor in check you can kinda use that to test your signal sorry about that you can kinda use that to test your signal but to record you have to turn your monitor off so right where my mouse is where it says off I'll zoom up so you can see it where it says off right there you have to have that off in order to record and so now if I press record hello check one two you won't hear any signal coming through it but um, you should when I get done recording so hello world and all who inhabited it so now let's stop it and play it hello check one two you won't hear any signal coming through it but um, you should when I get done recording so. alright so there you go and that's how you use the Soundcraft signature and record it onto your computer